Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to learn about how to play the Evans Gambit and how to play when the bishop drops back to e7. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. Um, so here it's going to start with b4, I'm giving up the wing pawn to get the center pawn. Bishop takes b4, c3, and now bishop to e7. So here we're going to go d4 as usual. Um, and here we might get some variations, because here of knight a5, we don't want to um, castle here as we normally do. So here we're going to go bishop e2. Um, if d6, queen a4 check, this is actually a very popular line. So you might see this one uh, a, couple, a bunch. So here c6, take on e5, take, knight takes. Um, and now here we're just going to develop normally. We got our pawn back, but here our, it's not more of an attack. It's kind of a positional game. So knight f6. Um, and here we want to go bishop f4 before we castle. The key is so that before we attack this queen, we want to make sure he can never go queen c7. Because here of queen c7, we have this knight to g6 tactic, which is very strong because he can't take this knight because then we take the queen, then he can't take this bishop because this knight guards this bishop. Um, so here, that's why we go bishop f4, and after castle, we want to go castle, b5, drop back to c2, bishop e6, rook d1, get that tempo against the queen, um, and now knight d2, get all our pieces out. I'm going to have to rook d8, now we want to start bishop g3. The idea is we want to go f4 and push up these two pawns to get an attack against this king. Um, remember, we have to play king h1 first so that we can move this pawn because this queen is pinning this pawn. Um, and here, if he tries to chase our knight away, we're going to keep our pieces. And we're going to move this knight to d3, where it's very solid, and it controls some very important squares. And now f4, f5 is coming very soon. So that's what we're going to do if they play this knight a5 line and play d6. Now most of the time you're going to see take on d4 and now we play queen takes d4. The key here is um, we don't want to let black castle. So here we're attacking the g7 pawn. So here d6, we could just take on g7. Here queen g3 and now we're going to have a very nice position. Um, so here they're probably going to defend it with knight f6. Now e5, knight c6 attacking this queen so we can't take this knight because knight takes queen. Um, so here we go, not to c5 but queen h4. Um, knight d5, um, here he has a discover attack against his queen, so we have to move it, so we go queen to g3. The key here being, if he castles, we have bishop h6, threatening a checkmate on g7, um, and he can't go bishop f6 because his pawn will guard that square. So here he has to go g6, give up the exchange, um, and now we are going to be up on exchange in a very nice position. So instead of castle, he can also go g6. So here, queen g3, um, g6, now bishop h6, stopping from castling. Um, if bishop f8, take, king takes, and now um, he's going to have a, a very weak king side. So we go castle, king g7, c4, knight b6, and knight c3. Um, and now we have um, a very nice position. Um, so that's what we're going to do if that happens. Now, lastly, instead of knight a5, we're also going to see take on d4. So let's go back all the way here. So now here, if take on d4, now we can take advantage of this position and go queen b3. Because here, if we attack f7, he can't guard it with h6. So his only move is knight a5. But now we have bishop takes f7 check, king f8, and queen to a4. And if he takes here, we, ta we take here. Um, and we're going to have a very nice position. This king is once again going to be very... Um, in danger, um, and here we're just going to castle, develop our pieces, and have a very nice attack. So that's how we're going to play against this bishop e7 line in the Evans Gambit. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to check out wolfchess.org for great lessons, puzzles, and videos, and hope you guys were entertained.